Hey there, everyone. This is Avra with EdTech Teacher. So I'm super excited because I get to tell you about my latest favorite thing today in this video, um, and it's adding emojis to organize Google Drive, adding it to your file names and folder names. And that might sound silly, but actually I think there's just a lot of benefits to it for, for us as educators and for our students. So I happened upon this idea when I was watching a YouTube video in which um, an educator named Jen Giffen She's a digital literacy resource teacher um, up in Canada, and she had kind of explained a way of doing this. She was using a program called CopyPasteCharacter.com, actually not a program, a, a website, and um, she was copying and pasting emojis from that, and that got me thinking, you know, I've seen the emoji keyboard on the Mac, I've seen it on the Chromebook, and so um, I thought I would just take a few minutes and make a quick video tutorial to show you how to do it on both of those devices. So initially, um, when I started thinking about this, I started thinking about, I was always thinking emojis and emoticons were kind of the same thing and of course we've been using them in our emails and in our instant messages for years but when I looked it up and I read this article that I found on the Guardian um, it actually there's a slight difference so emoticons are actually when you put two pieces of punctuation together um, to portray an emotion but emojis are actual little pictures and there's sets of them in most operating systems so most operating systems support it um, but if you've ever noticed if you've if you've sent an emoji from like a, an Android phone to um, an iPhone, it might look slightly different. But regardless, there's going to be a keyboard and you're going to be able to tap on it and use it as though it's a character, as though it's a keyboard stroke, like a letter. So what that means is that we can now put them into our file names um, and folder names. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So here, Google Drive. Um, you can see that I just put basically like little different pictures, little emojis after each of these folders. And I think that you can just very plainly see that the before and after is really significant. Um, I obviously also colored the folders, which is another function of Google Drive that I love. Um, couldn't do that in my Windows environment, so that was one of my favorite things once I met Google Drive years ago. Um, and I think what happens here is it just really helps us. The visual cues are huge, and I can just more quickly and easily find what I'm looking for, and I always found that my students did really well with um, folder colors, and so I think the pictures would just continue to augment that and help them with their organization and just being able to locate things easily. So when I think also too about my pre-readers, um, I think about, you know, I taught kindergarten and then I also worked, um, you know, pre-K, K and one when I was teaching technology and you know having things like going back to that last slide having things like that basketball after the PE folder is going to help our pre-readers to start to decode and know what um, you know what words those are and, and how to find the correct folder so I think I, al I always think about my pre-readers but then also I was just noticing like in my own kind of tabalicious world um, you can ask any of my colleagues I always have at least 20 browser tabs open as I try to multitask. It's it's kind of crazy. But um, what I love is that if you notice, when you put that emoji before the file name, um, it's the first thing that you're going to see. And so even when your tabs are so small because you have so many open that you can't even see names anymore, um, then you can see these emojis instead. So this is the article that I was writing about this. Um, this is a schedule. And I've got my little clock here. So, you know, and this is a Google Drive folder um, with some sample student work. And so, you know, that was just something that I loved also because it, would, again, just drew my eye to it. And when I have multiple Google Docs open, I knew which one was which. Um, and then also just the organizational structure. For years, I've always used numbers or like an asterisk, um, a piece of punctuation before file names in order to organize them to the top of the organizational structure in terms of like the alphabetical order. Um, but now you can see here like this summer 2017 folder um, is one that I use all the time and right now because it's summer 2017 and so I want that up at the top. I don't want that down in the S's. I want it to be up um, before the A's. So you know that's something else that um, that putting these emojis in there does. So those are just kind of some reasons why I think it might be a neat way um, and a neat a neat thing for students to do, a neat thing for, for teachers to do. Also, I found that when I pushed out files in Google Classroom, um, you know, these file names stay intact. So it's an easy way, um, even if you don't have your little ones, maybe using them, you know, creating their own file names with the emojis, um, you, you could, as a teacher, create files that have emojis in the file names and push it out to your kids. And for our littles, um, that might really help them. So those are just some, some whys. And in the next 
um, portions of the video, I'll show you how on both the Mac and the Chromebook. So thanks so much for watching. Hey there, so in this portion of my video tutorial, I'm here on my Chromebook and I just want to show you um, how to launch the emoji keyboard in order to put those emojis into file names or folder names here in Google Drive. So what you want to do is you want to go down to your shelf of your keyboard, which is this black bar down here at the bottom, similar to the taskbar in Windows. and you want to click, um, you want basically what you want is you want to get this US to be an option here. If you see it, then you can ignore the next few minutes of this video um, because this launches the US keyboard and this basically gives you some additional input methods with your with your Chromebook, um, including this emoji palette. If you don't see these letters US, then what you want to do instead is click here um, on this part of the shelf, the part that's got the clock and all of the settings here, and you want to go actually here to the settings gear. Okay, so from here then what you want to do is scroll down and you want to go to advanced and then you're going to just kind of continue to scroll down. So you want to get to the section that says languages and input. And there are three drop down menus here that you can open up. You want to do the middle one. And then what you want to do is you want to make sure that this option here where it says show input options in the shelf um, is turned on. So this is just an on off switch. And when I turn it on and off, if you notice, you can watch right here, this little US will go away or come back. So you just want to make sure that that's turned on. And that's how then you can easily launch um, the, the emoji keyboard. So just to kind of show you what that looks like, if I were to make a new folder, and let's say we're going to make this one um, fall 2017, then what I would do is click here on the US then click here on the smiley face, that's the emoji keyboard. And then I'm going to just navigate to something to something that looks like it has to do with fall. So I'll choose this little leaf and go ahead and hit create. And you will see that the fall um, 2017 folder will be created and then it's also organized automatically right up here um, so that it's it's up at the top, um, not alphabetized down in the F's or the S's in this case for summer 2017. And I can find it more easily. So that's just basically how you put those emojis into the folder names and you do the same thing with file names. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me. Thanks so much for watching. So in this portion of my video tutorial, I wanna show you how I've been using my MacBook to add emojis to my file names and my folder names in Google Drive. It's a super simple process. Basically, all you do is go to an existing um, folder or file, or you could do it the very first time you're naming a file also. And what I'm gonna do here is right click and choose rename. And then in this case, I'm gonna choose to put the emoji at the beginning of the file name. So to get my emoji, what I need to do is go up to the edit menu, come down and choose where it says emojis and symbols, and then I'm gonna get a little floating window. I can do a search here if I want to. Um, and then I can choose any one of the images that appears, or if I'm not happy with that, I can absolutely just scroll through and look for different emojis here. So in this case, I'll choose the little microscope to go with science, and then I'm going to hit OK. What I love about that is that it alphabetizes, um, my file names and my folder names are alphabetized, and by putting that character, that special character, just like any piece of punctuation, before the file name, it pushes it to the top of the alphabet in terms of the organizational structure. So that I love. Now if you didn't want to do that, you could absolutely rename it in a different way. Leave the file name intact, and then go ahead and add that special character at the end. and then it's going to stay organized down in the S's. So that's how I do it on my MacBook. Um, same thing with a file name. Here this is called Untitled Document. If I wanted to give it a better name. I can just type better name, go into my emojis menu, and then choose this little thumb tack 
and hit OK. So um, obviously my post and earlier in this video, um, I've kind of outlined a couple different reasons why we would want to use these, but that's just the quick um, way to do it here on the Mac. Thanks so much for watching.